Do you ever think that fishing in Minecraft has been left untreated and as a result has become useless and boring? Well, good thing Aquaculture 2 exists, because this mod for Minecraft Java 1.16.5 adds over 30 new biome specific fish, as well as a whole new range of armour and tools, and a bunch of little other things that you can find while fishing in your oceans, rivers and other uh, watery places. This really is a really good mod and you can find the download link right below in the description as well as the uh, the download for this uh, map that we have going on here and this really is such a good mod so yeah be sure to check it out. Also if you do end up enjoying this review then please consider leaving a like and subscribing, it's free and you can always unsubscribe later, it would be much appreciated. However with that out of the way let's just jump straight into looking at all the features that this mod has to offer in a brand new testing world. So here we are in a brand new testing world and here are all the features in a big row that this mod has to offer. There is a ton of new stuff and uh, lots of little fishy stuff that's getting added as well as a new armour set and new um, ingot that can be used to craft all types of uh, nice things. But let's just get started straight away with uh, the new rod types that have been added to the game. So we have four, uh, we have the new iron rod, the new gold rod, the diamond rod and the neptunium rod. Now the neptunium rod is made from the neptunium ingots which are a new material that's been added. We will go over that in more depth later on but I thought I'd include it here just because it is part of the rods. Crafting recipes for these guys, really simple, just a stick, two iron ingots and two string and then replace the iron ingots with whatever material you are crafting, the you're wanting to craft for the rod, so for the gold it would be replaced with gold, for the diamond it would be two diamonds and of course neptunium to neptunium ingots. So yeah, really cool guys. What these guys do is they just increase in durability. So if we pick this guy, he's gonna have, uh, we can't see it right now because I've not got the, I've not used it, but they increase in durability essentially. So the uh, iron rod is an advancement from the default fishing rod, uh, the gold is an advancement and the diamond is also an advancement. And the neptunium rod, however, does have a buff called Neptune Song and this makes it so that fish are more likely to bite. So you're gonna have an increased chance of fish actually biting the rod and you catching them as well as this having significantly higher um, durability. So yeah, very, very nice uh, new rods here. Over here we have brand new accessories for the rods. So we have the the bait or worms. Uh, so I've, cho I've chosen worms here, but there are three types of bait, which we'll go over later. We have the fishing line, we have the tackle box, and we have the bobber. So all, um, all these things here, the fishing line, the worm, uh, and the bobber can be added to a um, uh, rod here. So here we can see the crafting recipe for the tackle box, uh, which is uh, just the five iron ingots, a chest, an iron block, two kelp, and this kelp can be replaced actually with either green dye or algae, which we'll get onto later as well, which is a new material, and uh, it will craft yourself a, a tackle box, which looks a little bit like this. So yes, very, very cool. And the tackle box, uh, essentially what it does is um, it allows you to modify your fishing rod. So here we have a diamond fishing rod, and we can see that if we pop it into this slot here, we're gonna have four little boxes which we can apply things to. So here we have a fishing line, and we can put that on, and we're gonna be able to actually fully customize what the rod looks like. And we can put our bait on here, the worm, and that just makes it more um, likely to catch fish. Uh, we have the bobber here, which you can customize to make it look nice, and we have the hook, which we will also get onto. And once we take all this off, we're gonna see that this diamond uh, fishing rod here is going to have a custom bobber and a custom line um, and it's going to obviously be more likely to catch fish because it has a bait on it and so yeah that's very very cool that's what you can do with the um, the tackle box here and you can store all your equipment in here we're going to get on to individually what these things do later on so starting off with the uh, the fishing line here uh, all you need to do to craft this thing is four pieces of string and one iron ingot and that's going to give you your fishing line and you can actually dye this any color you want so the same as leather armor so say if we take our fishing line here and we hop up into a crafting table and combine it with a pink dye you'll see we get a pink fishing line and then if we go and take out this uh, default fishing line and put on the pink one we're going to see that once we take this out and put it back into the water it's going to be a pink line so yeah very very nice there i really like how you can customize it uh, what else do we have? So we have, after this, we have the the hook here. Now the hook, there are multiple different hooks, quite a few actually. Uh, here they are all here, and each one of these has its own thing that it can do, its own special thing. So the iron hook here is durable, so it has a 20% chance not to use durability, uh, which is quite cool. The gold one has increased luck, so increased chances of finding better fish, uh, or better items. The diamond, the diamond hook, sorry, has a 50% chance not to uh, chance not to use durability, which is very, very good. The light hook here will cast further than any other hook. Uh, the heavy hook here is going to cast shorter. The double hook will have a chance to catch two things at once instead of one. 
and the redstone hook is going to increase how long you have to reel in a fish. So if you're not very good at your reaction times, you can use this and you'll have more time to catch it in. Uh, the note hook is going to play an alert when a fish is approaching. And finally, the nether star hook, which is the most expensive one by far, has a 50% chance not to use durability and it has increased luck. So onto the crafting recipes for these things. I didn't bother putting them in the chest because there's quite a lot of them. You can just go over it uh, inside of here. So if we just find all where the hooks are, uh, where about here we go. So the iron hook, very, very simple. Four iron nuggets gets you your hook. The golden one will take your iron hook and surround it with four golden ingots. Your diamond hook is your iron hook surrounded by four diamonds. The light hook is a normal hook surrounded by four feathers. The heavy hook is an iron hook surrounded by four more iron ingots, uh, no iron nuggets, sorry. The uh, durable hook is going to be two uh, iron hooks, no, the double hook, sorry. The redstone hook is going to be a normal iron hook surrounded by four redstone dust. Uh, your, note your note hook is going to be a iron hook, uh, uh, an iron hook and a note block to get you your note hook. And finally, the nether hook, nether star hook, is going to be a diamond hook and a nether star. So that's very, very expensive. But then again, you do get a 50% chance not to use durability and increase luck, which is a very nice buff. And you can, of course, replace anything in your uh, box here, your tackle box. You can replace this hook with any other hook and it will apply itself and give the appropriate buff. Moving on from uh, hooks, we have bobbers. This is the bobber here. You can fully customize the, 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 the color of your bobber. So how we craft this is a clay ball, two clay balls, and a nautilus shell. And of course we can dye this any color we want. So if we just go and pop this into the crafting table and put a blue dye on it, we're gonna see, oops, we're gonna see that we get a blue bobber and we can go and chuck this and replace this with the normal one. We take this out, we're gonna see we have a pink line and a blue bobber. So that's really, really cool. I like that a lot. Um, very, very nice. That's what the tackle box does. So, moving on from all that stuff, um, we're going to go on to bait, which is another thing that you can equip, which is the, we added the worm there, and here are the types of bait that you can add. So we have the worm, we have the leech, and we have the minnow. Now the leech and the minnow can be obtained by fishing, uh, which you can just, so you can just find them by fishing, and whereas the, the worm will be found, uh, it can be harvested using a worm farm, and we'll get onto the worm farm just now. So this is the worm farm here, very similar to a composter, um, and it will work exactly the same as a composter. Uh, all you need to do is take your um, your seeds, so we just take uh, 64 here, and we're gonna jump on here and spam, uh, click all these into here, and we're gonna see that once we right, once it's full and we right click, we're gonna get a ton of worms, just like that, so six. And how you craft this thing, very easy. Three oak planks, or three any planks really, uh, four fences and one piece of dirt, that will give you your um, your worm farm. And that's how you're going to get yourself a bunch of bait. So we have three different uh, different types of bait, and they will uh, obviously just uh, increase the chances of you getting fish. Moving on from bait and all the uh, the tackle box stuff, so that's everything you can put on your rods. That's all the rod stuff covered. Uh, moving on now to uh, fillet knives. So these are um, some new tools that have been added to the game, and we have uh, six variants, not including netherite. Netherite is not included. Um, we have the wooden one, which is crafted with a stick and two oak planks. We have the stone one, which is a stick and two cobblestone, the iron, the gold, the diamond, and the neptunium, and obviously you just replace the uh, material with whatever it is you're crafting. Now the, ne the, the neptunium one that you might want to note, uh, it does have, it increases the amount of fillets you get. So this one, it's called Neptune's Feast, the buff. Uh, if you hold shift on it, it'll give you um, uh, its stats. It will increase the amount of fillets you get, and it's unbreakable. So that's a very, very strong buff there. Uh, very, very cool. And what these fillets are, essentially, is if you take any of your fillet knives and you apply them to a fish, so in the crafting menu, you're going to get yourself two fish fillets. Well, from this Neptunium one anyway, you'll get any other ones, you'll get fish fillets. And what we can do is we can take these uh, and we can chuck them into the furnace here, um, to, into the blast furnace, and that's not going to cook for some reason. Uh, that's a bit strange. How about we get the, um, we get, we get, if we get a normal furnace it might work. Uh, here, so if we try taking that out, um, put the furnace down, and then coal, coal, there we go. Okay, it doesn't work for the blast furnace for some reason, that's a bit odd, but uh, we can see here that with the furnace it will smelt down just like this, and give us a cooked fish fillet. Uh, so yeah, very, very cool. You get a new food type, and this works for all of the fish, you just combine them and you'll get fish fillets. It depends on the fish and on the, um, 
on the uh, the knife, the fillet knife that you're using. And of course, the added bonus of using a, a diamond one over a wooden one is the extra durability. And of course, the Neptunia one is unbreakable. So that's a uh, very very cool. Expensive though. On from uh, the fish fillets and all of the uh, rod stuff, we have all the new fish, uh, all the new fishies that you can find. Now these are all biome specific. Well, some of them are. Um, so you can find these in, set in different uh, bodies of water throughout your world, and we'll go over exactly um, where you can find them. So here we have the freshwater fish, so we have the smallmouth bass, we have the bluegill, the brown trout, the carp, the catfish, the gar, the minnow, the muscle lung, I think it's called, and the perch. So these are all the fishies that you can find in freshwater. And this is your rivers and your and your lakes and your ponds and stuff like that. So your most common fish, essentially. Um, so yeah, very, very nice that you can find all of these in there. On from that, we have the arid fish. So these can be found in hot regions, such as the, the savannah and the desert and the mesa, etc. And we have the bayad, we have the bulti, uh, we have the capitain, and we also have the synodontis. And these are all some very, I really like this one actually, I really like the texture of this one, it's very cool. Um, so these are all the fish you can find in your hotter regions. Uh, on from uh, Arid, we have the Arctic, so all your colder biomes. Um, we have here the Atlantic Cod, the Blackfish, the, pa the Pacific Halibut, we have the Atlantic Halibut, we have the Atlantic Herring, the Pink Salmon, the Pollock, and the Rainbow Trout. So yes, that's all the ones you can find in the arctic region so your your um your snow biomes and stuff uh, very cool fishies here i uh, see so, uh, you could you could even set yourself a challenge just to collect all the fish because there's actually a way you can display your fish which we'll uh, find out about a little bit later on which is uh, really really cool uh, on from that we have salt water so this is your oceans uh, we have three different fishes we can find on top of um some of the other ones with the jellyfish we have the red grouper and we have the tuna the tuna uh, and the red grouper I think look really cool. Bearing in mind in the ocean the jellyfish will attack you so just be careful of that. All these fish bearing in mind these all have entities so you can find these just f swimming about as well as physically catching them uh, which is really really cool and it's far more life to the oceans. Uh, in the jungle uh, so in your, uh, your jungle bodies of, jung bodies of water in the jungle we can find an arapaima, uh, an arrow turtle, a piranha and a tambaqui. Uh, the, ar the, the turtle here does have a spawn egg which we'll, uh, we'll show you the entity for him later on. Um, but yes, it's very cool. Uh, all the jungle ones. Uh, on from the jungle we have the swamp ones. Now note that in the um, swamp you can also find freshwater fish. So on top of these ones you will be able to find all the ones listed in the freshwater. So we have the frog, we have the leech and we have the box turtle. And of course, the leech, uh, this can be used as a bait. So if you want to use something different from worms, you can use leeches, which are found in the swamp biome. Uh, almost coming on to the end now, we have, uh, if you're using the Twilight Forest mod, this mod actually does include uh, a fish, well, a turtle actually, for the Twilight Forest, which is here, the star shell tur turtle. So this can only be found in the Twilight Forest. So if you want all of them, you'll have to also get the Twilight Forest mod. Uh, which is really, really cool that they did that actually, crossovers. And uh, almost last we have the goldfish, which can be found absolutely anywhere, so he is not biospecific. And last but not least, I forgot to add this in, uh, this is the mushroom island fish. Uh, we have the brown shrimmer and the red shrimmer, and these can actually be put into crafting tables and will give you, um, uh, or is it furnace? I think it might be a furnace actually, we'll go and test it out just now. Uh, but you can put these into a furnace and they will smelt out a... Uh, or no, they won't. Okay. Well, I, th I think it's a crafting table because I remember seeing um, that you could uh, turn these guys into mushrooms. Uh, yeah, here we go. So we get five red mushrooms and we get five brown mushrooms. So the the brown one will give you the brown shrimp will give you five brown mushrooms and the red shrimp will give you five uh, uh, red mushrooms. So yeah, that's cool. So that is all the fishies that this mod adds. There is plenty here. So if you want to try and collect yourself all of these, and it's going to take you a while, but it's very nice to see. Moving on from all the fish, we have the brand new um, set of uh, tools and armor and blocks, and this is Neptunium. Now, I absolutely love the texture for Neptunium. It looks absolutely amazing. And this does actually have a um, added effect as well, which we will move on to. Um, so all you're going to need to do to craft this is just put your Neptunium ingots in a, the format of any armor piece, so it's going to work just the same. And we have here the Neptunium helmet, the Neptunium chest plate, the Neptunium leggings, oops, and the Neptunium boots. If we chuck this on, we're going to see that it looks very, very, very cool. Here we go like that. We look like Poseidon. It's very, very nice. 
Now this actually does have uh, some special effects. So we have here, plus three armor and plus two armor uh, toughness. And it has Neptune's gaze on it, which will improve your underwater vision. Very helpful. Neptune's chest plate gives you plus eight armor and plus two armor uh, toughness. It has Neptune's lungs, which is going to allow you to breathe underwater permanently as long as you have this on. The Neptune's leg, Neptunium leggings, is going to have plus six armor, plus two armor toughness, as well as Neptune's buoyancy, which will make you weightless underwater. And last but not least, the Neptunium boots will give you plus three armor and plus two armor toughness. This will become equipped with Neptune Swiftness, which grants you increased swim speed. Now I'll put up a demo of what these things, what this looks like underwater, and um, but it's very, very cool. You'll be able to see that uh, it greatly increases your speed. You can see much, much clearer. Um, you're weightless, so walking in water, walking in one block tall water is just as as you would in uh, just on land. Very, very cool armor. Uh, I really, really like it, and of course, it's got all these uh, amazing special effects on them as well. So very, very nice. Moving on from the armor, we have a brand new tool set. Now the sprites for these are just amazing. They look great. They look like something straight out of Terraria, actually. Uh, some of these sprites. Um, but here, there, these are the Neptunium tools and a new bow as well. So here we have the pickaxe, the shovel, the axe, and the hoe, and of course the sword. Uh, these tools are OP, <laughs> I might add. So um, this Neptunium pickaxe has a buff called Neptune's Grace and this will be usable without speed penalty underwater. So when you're mining underwater, it will be as if you're mining on land. There will be no speed penalty whatsoever, which is just very, very handy for underwater building if you don't have a conduit. Uh, here we have the Neptunium shovel. Again, has the same uh, buff as the pickaxe. Um, here we have the Neptunium Axe. This is going to deal increased damage underwater uh, against enemies underwater. And this does 15 attack damage, which is really, really good. That is a massive, massive amount of damage. This actually allows you to one hit, uh, with a critical hit, normal mobs. Uh, like skeletons, your zombies, your creepers, all that sort of stuff. Which is just insane. Uh, over here we have the Neptunium Hole, and this is going to give you Neptune's Gift which will uh, allow for tilled farmland to stay moist. You won't have to uh, irrigate it, you can just lay it down and it'll be moist uh, automatically. And last we have the Neptunium Sword, dealing 10 attack damage, which has Neptune's Might again, which will increase your damage against enemies underwater. So the, yeah, very, very nice tools here. They just look absolutely amazing. Uh, I, li I especially like the axe. It just looks very, 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 very menacing. And the sword as well. Here we have the bow, uh, which would be noted. Now, the thing about the bow, is it's going to be it's going to require i just thought i could include the crafting recipe for this uh, as well so it's going to have three neptunium ingots and three string now the bow uh, you're going to see here it has a thing called a uh, buff called neptune strike and this will allow arrows to go smoothly through water so no more of those arrows just dipping straight as soon as they go into the water they will fly straight forward as they would if they were on land in water uh, which is a very very nice buff so you've got a real reason to get these weapons because and these tools because they do grant you really good buffs so definitely a good reason to pick these up and uh, we'll move on to now how you can actually get these uh, armor pieces so here's the neptunium ingot now this you can only get from fishing but you can't just fish it out of the, the water you'll find it in this chest here which is called neptune's bounty which is very very rare and this will come with neptunium ingots uh, and with these neptunium ingots you can craft yourself obviously all this stuff here as well as a neptunium block which looks very very nice here we go here, it's like a lighter diamond block, um, it just looks amazing. Uh, so that's the Neptunium block, that's everything you can do with the uh, ingots here. So yeah, it's good to see that they've given you a real reason to actually go ahead and get these tools and these weapons and these armour, because they really do help you, uh, they have some really good buffs. But anyway, enough about that, let's move on to some of the loot you can expect to find from fishing. So this is stuff that you'll find uh, as, as well as um, the stuff that you can find, the fish that you can find, these can be found anywhere. So here we have the driftwood, uh, which is uh, just a common thing that you're going to pick up quite a lot. Uh, and this is kind of useful, I guess. You can chuck it in a crafting table and it'll give you four planks out of. Uh, and so after that we have the uh, tin can here, which if you chuck into a furnace will give you seven iron nuggets. So that's quite useful actually, it gives you free iron. Uh, here we have the message in the bottle, which is quite funny. If you grab this and you right click it, it's going to give you um, some random messages. I think the funniest one I found was uh, press Alt F4 for free diamonds. Uh, we'll see if we can uh, find it now. I don't think so. But it's funny. It's funny that they give you all these uh, little messages that you can look at. Um, so if you find any of these, it'll be a nice joke, a nice laugh for you. On from that, we have uh, some new treasure boxes. 
So we have a box, which is quite common. And if you get one of these, you can just right click it and it'll give you some loot. Uh, not very good loot from this one. <laughs> uh, some leather and some cobblestone. But uh, obviously there are two more that we can look at. So here we have the lock box. And if we open this, we're going to get some slightly better materials. So gold, some iron, some books, some compasses. So yeah, it's slightly better. But uh, the one we're really wanting here is the treasure chest. If we right click this, we're going to get some really good stuff. Getting emeralds, we're getting diamonds, we're getting gold, we're getting far more emeralds and diamonds than iron. So iron is definitely less common, it looks, by the, by the looks of things. So yeah, this is very, very good. Nine diamonds. And these are the things that you can find in the, um, in the water. And here we have algae, which I believe can only be found in swamps. Um, so that's a thing that you might want to get. And this, of course, can be replaced with the kelp to craft the, um, the worm farm if you don't have access to kelp for some reason. Uh, so that is a thing that that can be used for. It can also be used for sushi, which we'll get into in just a quick second. Uh, on from all this, we have the, some of the new food types that you can make yourself uh, from items that you will find in the water. So here we have cooked frog legs, and as it suggests, you just get your frog legs, you chuck them in a furnace, and you get some uh, cooked frog legs. You obviously get these from frogs. Uh, we have here the um, turtle stew, or turtle soup, sorry. And this can be made with a box turtle or any other turtle, so the, either the arrow turtle or, turtle or the star shell turtle. Combine that with a water bucket and a bowl, and that's going to give you your soup. And over here we have the sushi, which I really like the sprite for. Uh, this can be made with a raw fish fillet and some sea grass, and that's going to give you some sushi. So no, sorry, you don't need algae for that. The algae is for the um, the other thing over there, the, the, uh, the, the, the worm farm. Uh, on from that, we have one of the coolest things that I like. So these are fish mounts, so you can actually get your fish and mount them on your walls in your house, which I think is really, really cool. I love that. It's like a, a almost like a trophy system. You can display your, your favorite catches in your house. Um, and these are really simple to craft. So when you, bearing in mind when you, I haven't actually name tagged these, when you put the fish on the thing, on the mount, it's going to automatically put a name, uh, name tag above it. So you can see exactly what it is that you've caught. Uh, and they come in all the variants of all the woods, uh, minus the ones that you get with the nether update. So they haven't included them yet. Hopefully they do. Uh, but you don't get them just yet. Crafting recipes from these, really, really simple. Just take your oak buttons. So here we have five oak buttons and a one iron hook. And it just repeats. So your spruce buttons, birch buttons, uh, and so on and so forth. For all the different um, for all the different uh, fish mounts. And these look really, really cool. I like these a lot. You can display your favourite catches like, across your house. I think that's uh, a nice addition. On from that, finally, we have the turtle spawn eggs. So I just thought you'd, I'd show you guys what the, uh, the, part of the, what the spawn eggs are, because there are three spawn eggs. So we have the box turtle, the arrow turtle, and the star shell turtle. And here we have him. He's very, very cute. Very small. Uh, this is the box turtle here. And if you kill this guy, he will give you um, uh, the turtle and uh, turtle feet as well. And this guy here is the arrow turtle, which can be found in, I think it was the jungle. Uh, and last but not least, uh, the coolest one, which is the... Um, the star shell turtle and he can be found in the twilight forest only so yeah that just about does it for this mod it's a really really cool mod and i highly suggest you guys check it out um lots of different features that it adds and uh, i just think it's a, a really really cool mod so yeah i'll leave the, the download link in the description if you want to check it out so yes that is going to do it for this mod uh, thank you all very much for watching it's a very very cool mod and i highly suggest you take it out you can see some of the damage that this axe is doing it just is amazing um, but yeah, that is about the mod uh, done, so huge thank you to the creators for making this, it is an amazing mod. Um, and I will again leave the download link in the description for anybody who wants to check it out. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I will uh, see you all guys later, and as always, have a great day.